right, so this is for the subject investment and portfolio management. So it took a while before I'm able to start recording because previously, you know, as soon as I opened my mouth, I would bark like mad. So anyway, today is Saturday. Hopefully things are better. <clears throat> All right, so for this one, the topic is capital markets. Uh, we have here an article from Investopedia.com. Uh, I'm not sure if I've already discussed capital markets in uh, the previous subjects, but okay, we're, we're going to go over it again. All right, so capital markets. <clears throat> this is where savings and investments are channeled between suppliers, uh, people or institutions with capital to lend or invest, and then we have the other side, uh, individuals or businesses who are in need of capital or money or funding for whatever venture that they are doing. So essentially, the capital markets is where the investors or those people with money and uh, the businesses or individuals who are in need of funding would meet okay, and essentially you know, transact and do an exchange of that capital. All right. So suppliers or those people with money typically include banks and investors, while those who seek capital are businesses, governments, and individuals. Okay, so mention the government here because they do issue uh, government bonds or treasury bills, right? Capital markets are composed of primary and secondary markets. The most common capital markets are you have two: the stock market and then the bond market. Okay. Um, the stock market is more accessible, currently more accessible for, you know, ordinary people. Um, the banks or financial institutions have created their own, you know, trading platforms wherein their clients, uh, bank depositors should be able to uh, do stock trading through their platforms. And the required capital, you know, to start or to use the trading platforms are minimal. Some of them require only 500 pesos, others require 1,000 pesos or, you know, just a small amount of money, right? But for the bond market, normally the bonds issued by government and businesses, they are channeled through uh, financial institutions still and, I think, sorry, but uh, the required amount of funding to buy bonds are you know higher compared to what you need to start using the uh, stock trading platforms <clears throat> that these financial institutions have okay so i think the lowest amount for bonds is twenty five thousand, but others it would require fifty thousand hundred thousand two hundred fifty thousand five hundred thousand or one million okay so that's the uh, what you call that breakdown of the amount of uh you know money that you need to acquire bonds of businesses or government and then there are um what do you call that secondary types of you know capital markets but uh they're not as popular and normally they are managed by what we call um what do you call that not exactly financial managers but something like that right fund asset managers or something like that um what happens is that people normally for you know passive type of investors they would pull their money you know each one would contribute a small amount of money regularly you know let's say monthly and then that amount of money would be pulled together and would be handled by this uh fund manager and then this fund manager would be responsible for investing this money to you know stocks to bonds and since the money is pooled so essentially you know it could be used now to acquire uh the stocks and the bonds regardless of how much is the minimum needed because the pooled amount should be able to cover the minimum amount already okay so in a way that's how they you know try to um fulfill the minimum uh, amount of funds needed to invest in the bond market okay but that's another type of investment uh, maybe later on we'll discuss that all right so essentially capital markets again to where the suppliers or those people with money and those people who are in need of money essentially meet and you know transfer of capital for use in their ventures okay 
And then we have two types of capital markets, the primary and the secondary. Okay. Primary is where um, the issuer or the first issuer, the actual issuer of uh, the security instrument and, you know, the first client. Okay. So, if, for example, you have your private corporation and then they issue new stocks. Okay. New stocks. So essentially, the stock would be transferred from this private company to an investor or to its first stockholder. Okay, so that's a primary market. Essentially, the issuer and its you know first holder of that instrument is or are uh, the parties to the transaction. Okay, right. That's the primary market. Okay, when this stockholder sells the uh, instrument to another investor so that becomes the secondary market okay so the original issuer of the instrument is no longer out all that involved in the transaction when it comes to the secondary market okay essentially the secondary market is for you know investors wanting to sell their instrument early so they find you know another investor who would like to invest in the same instrument okay so that's the secondary market <clears throat> and the importance of uh, the secondary market is that um, it provides liquidity of the instrument okay so for example you have you know this particular instrument right but if there is no demand for that particular instrument if this investor wanted to you know sell uh, the instrument already let's say kailangan na niya ng pera or uh, he doesn't want to hold it anymore so he would have to find a secondary market for you know that particular instrument pero kung walang secondary instrument uh, uh sorry kung walang secondary market then how is he going to dispose that particular instrument okay so that's why in investment uh, it's very important na merong existing secondary market for a particular uh, investment or security. Okay, kumbaga yung investors, alam nila kung saan nila pwedeng ibenta yung kanilang bibilhin pa lang na uh, instrument. Okay, so later, I think uh, we have another topic for uh, characteristics of investments. Na one of them is yun, kailangan merong uh, presence of secondary market kung saan pwedeng ibenta or pwedeng illiquidate or pwedeng i-dispose ng isang investor yung instrument na yun. Okay? Kasi hindi ka naman bibili ng isang investment na later on hindi mo naman may bebenta to other people. Okay? And then when it comes to stock market, balik tayo ng konti sa stock market, uh, yung kasi yung primary, mar primary market ng stocks, normally kapag you know, nag-issue itong corporation ng stocks, they are not obligated to you know, buy back the instrument or the stocks okay meron tayong rule uh, trust fund doctrine na as long as nag-exist yung corporation they are not in any way obliged or required to buy back no itong investor ayun na niya mag-invest instead of requiring the corporation to you know bilhin mo na pabalik itong binili ko sa na stocks hindi niya pwedeng gawin yon okay that's why he has to find a secondary market for that particular instrument Okay, so yun. Kasi nga, they, uh, you know, law corporation code uh, in terms of that doctrine. Hindi mo kasi pwedeng i-disrupt yung, um, tawag dito, yung operation, nung corporation na yun. Okay, and then yung kasing binili mo na stock, it's a form of ownership. Okay, and then, kumbaga, owner ka ngayon nung corporation na yun. And if you don't want to become an owner anymore, edi benta mo yung stocks mo. To another investor okay but we don't uh, you don't require the corporation to buy it back from you okay so yun tapos yung sa bond market naman normally uh, yung bond market kasi or yung bonds uh, meron siyang period of time na after niya mag expire i tawag dito kumbaga bibilhin pa balik yung bonds na yun okay or ibabalik yung principal na uh, ginamit. Sa bonds kasi, di ba, nabanggit natin, um, bibili ka nung, you know, principal, <coughs> sorry, principal amount. So, let's say, bumili ka ng bonds na 1 million, tapos for 5 years siya, for every year, nung 5 years na yun, makakatanggap ka ng interest as your earning 
from investing in that bond or from buying that bond. Tapos after no five years, ibabalik sa yo yung one million na uh, pinambili mo nung bond na yon. Okay, so aside from your principal, you also uh, aside from getting back your principal, eh di ang earning mo don is yung interest na tanggap mo over the five years, right? Pagdating sa stock market, uh, yung pinakang principal niya yung pinakang amount na ininvest mo nung bumili ka ng stocks, mare-claim mo lang siya or, you know, matatanggap mo lang ulit siya pabalik kapag naibenta mo siya to other investors. Tapos yung form of earnings mo, hindi kapag nag-declare ng dividends yung corporation, matatanggap mo yung dividends, uh, that's one way to earn. Tapos yung second, hindi kapag uh, binenta mo yung stocks at a price higher than the, the cost. Okay. Binili mo siya ng 100, binenta mo siya ng 120 per share. So, for every share, you earn 20 pesos. Okay. So, ganun. Sa stocks, there are two ways to earn. And then, sa bonds, normally, isa lang. Siyempre, yung ano lang, yung interest. But if, let's say, binenta mo yung bond, pwede naman kung may existing secondary market, market siya, binenta mo siya to other, another person at a price higher than your cost, then you can also earn through that ano, appreciation ng um, market price instrument. <coughs> okay, so ang main purpose talaga ng capital markets or kung bakit meron tayong capital markets is to improve transactional efficiency. Okay? These markets bring suppliers together with those seeking capital and provide a place where they can exchange securities. But for the most part, this is true for primary markets. Ano, yung direct na yung business na nangailangan ng funds tapos yung mga investors na bibili ng kanilang uh, instruments. Again, the instruments could be in the form of stock, stocks or bonds. Okay? And then yung secondary market, reiterate lang ulit natin, secondary market is where an investor could dispose yung kanyang uh, dito, financial instruments or securities uh, by selling it to another investor. Okay? So, that's why, again, it's important na kapag bibili ka ng investment, alamin mo muna kung meron kang lugar na pagbebentahan yan in case na ayaw mo nang hawakan yung investment na yan. Okay? So, you have to find a secondary market for it. That's why dun sa, um, pag tinignan mo yung mga charts or yung graphs dun sa Investagrams or any uh, stock trading platform. Diba? Kailangan, one of the things that you have to look for is yung volume, transactional volume every trading day. Gumagalaw ba yung stocks na yan? Uh, meron bang buyers? And meron bang sellers? Okay? Kasi although publicly listed, <coughs> um, if you would see, meron mga certain companies or stocks na publicly listed sa PSE pero hindi sila gumagalaw kasi walang seller. Ano, walang gusto, although yes, merong holder ng securities, pero currently, walang gustong magbenta ng stocks, okay? And again, secondary market kasi, it's between investor and another investor. And normally, kapag yung corporations, nag-issue ulit sila ng additional stocks, meron kasi tayo tinatawag na preemptive, right? So, yung mga existing shareholders, kumbaga sila yung my first, uh, tawag dito, parang first dibs, ano, na pag mag issue ng panibagong stocks si corporation, i-alok nila muna dun sa existing shareholders nila. Kapag ayaw, <coughs> kapag ayaw bilhin ng kanilang existing shareholders, saka lang nila i-offer talaga sa uh, others or to the general public. Okay? <coughs> so, yan, anong ganun. Okay, key takeaways, capital markets refer to the venues where funds are, again, exchanged between suppliers of capital and those who demand capital for use. Capital, uh, sorry, primary capital markets, new securities are issued and sold directly from the source, uh, either corporation man yan, government, or individual na nagre-raise ng funds for their venture. Secondary market, <coughs> where uh, previously issued securities are traded between investors. The best known capital markets include stock market and the bond market. Okay, yan yung pinakang kilala. And kumbaga, yung other types of investments, in a way, derivative lang naman sila no? uh, stock and uh, bond markets. So, essentially, uh, yung other types of investments na, you know, customized for the needs of the investors, uh, naka- 
based or in a way, nag-invest pa rin naman sila essentially ay dun sa stock and bond market. Ano? Understanding capital markets, broad term used to describe the in-person and digital spaces in which the various entities trade different types of financial instruments. So, ito in-person, you can go to a bank or to an accredited uh, financial institution if you want to buy stocks and bonds, okay? But in a way, karamihan ng mga banks natin dito sa Pilipinas, they do have uh, online trading platforms na na pwedeng gamitin ang kanilang mga clientele for them to, you know, trans do the transactions on their own. Sila na mismo yung uh, maglalagin lang dun sa digital platform, tapos sila na yung pipili ng stocks or bonds na gusto nilang bilhin, or yung financial instruments na gusto nilang bilhin. So these venues may include stock market, bond market, and the currency and foreign exchange market. Okay. So this is the third one. Uh, normally, this is for, you know, people or businesses na merong international transactions or kailangan nila or kumbaga nagre-require sila na uh, mag-exchange pa ng currency for them to be able to transact with another company from another country. Kapag ang uh, currency of course is required in the other currency. You know? Kumbaga hindi in Philippine peso. Most markets are concentrated in major financial centers such as New York, London, Singapore, and Hong Kong. You know? Uh, international, and uh, not exactly, but uh, for the most part, karamihan ng mga, you know, uh, international companies, they are listed in these, um, tawag dito, stock exchanges. Dito sa Philippines, of course, we have PSE, Philippine Stock Exchange. Capital markets are composed of the suppliers and users of funds. So, yung suppliers include households through the savings accounts they hold with banks as well as institutions like pension and retirement funds, life insurance companies, charitable foundations, and non-financial companies that generate excess cash. Okay? So, uh, diba, one source of uh, funding natin, we have the banks and the other financial institutions. Tapos, um, in the previous subject, ano, banking and financial institutions, nab uh, nabanggit din natin doon yung uh, government financial institutions natin, SSS, PhilHealth, Pag-IBIG, and yung kanila mga excess cash, yes, they do put some of the funds or in a way, they make investments in government bonds and uh, stocks then. Although, I'm not sure if nakita nyo yun. Oh, I'm not sure if I already posted it on the channel. Pero, uh, for the most part, karamihan ng kanilang investments ay sa bonds nila nilalagay. Kasi nga, uh, between stocks and bonds, uh, mas safe na investment ang bonds. Okay? Siguro later, under portfolio management, we'll discuss that. Okay? Um, the users of the funds distributed on capital markets include home and motor vehicle purchasers, non-financial companies and governments financing infrastructure investment and operating expenses. Okay? Normally, yun, dito nila ginagamit yung mga nare-raise nila na capital for their operations, of course, and then uh, to invest in infrastructure or what do you call that, um, machineries and equipment, and especially for manufacturing uh, businesses. Capital markets are used primarily to sell financial products such as equities or stocks and debt securities. Itong equities, stocks yan, tapos itong debt securities, uh, these are bonds. Okay? Yeah. Equities or stocks, ownership shares in a company. So, kapag ang hawak mo ay stocks or equities, technically, ikaw ay part owner ng company. Although, maliit lang. And especially kung uh, just a small portion of the authorized shares ng company. Tapos yung debt securities, examples nito ay yung bonds, interest-bearing IOUs. Ano? Uh, ito, kumbaga, guaranteed, or not exactly guaranteed, but uh, the issuer is required to pay you the interest on bonds kasi on a regular basis depending on you know the terms and conditions na nandun sa instrument. <coughs> Ayan. Tapos yung equities kasi um, hindi required technically na mag-declare ng dividends. Kumbaga it's a company discretion or management discretion if they want to. Uh, but for the most part uh, as long as kaya nilang i-justify na merong paggagamitan yung company nung kanilang earnings or retained earnings, they, it's possible that they would not declare dividends 
So, kadalasan yung mga nag-invest sa stocks, nakadepende siya dun sa magiging uh, changes in the market price ng stock. Okay. So, in a way, that's one of the reasons kung bakit mas preferable ang debt securities or bonds. Uh, less risky siya. Ano. These markets are divided into two groups. Primary, again, new equity stock and bond issues are sold to investors. Tapos yung secondary, secondary markets, um, between investors na. Okay. Um, capital markets are a crucial part of a functioning modern economy because they move money from people who have it to those who need it for productive use. Okay, so in a way, this is um, one of the functions ano, ng financial institutions. And as financial institutions, they do act as capital markets. Okay. So, ayan, um, right there ito ba natin? Primary versus secondary. Um, dun sa primary market, di ba, yung kapag first instance na mag issue yung corporation ng kanilang stocks, dadaan sa initial public offering ito. Itong IPO, kapag, uh, of course, initial public offering, uh, um, tawag dito, minomonitor siya or nire-regulate siya ng SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, saka ng Philippine Stock Exchange. And merong mga, you know, uh, requirements before a company could do an IPO. Ano? Kasi nga, uh, pinoprotektahan yung uh, interest ng general public kasi they are offering their securities to the general public. So, marami, medyo, yes, maraming requirements silang hinihingi to ensure that they are legit and that the funds that they would be able to raise through the IPO would be properly used in their operations. And, hin- kumbaga, um, meron din silang track record na maayos yung kanilang operations, na nagagamit nila na maayos yung kanilang you know, previous funds at hindi uh, kumbaga risk-wise ina-assess din ano, na, in a way to assure lang din yung public na kapag nag-invest kayo dito sa IPO nitong company na to um, hindi naman basa-basa mababankrupt ano, yung company or hindi naman basa-basa itatakbo na lang nila yung pera hindi na lang basa-basa na mag-stop na lang sila ng operations ano. so ayun uh, that's the primary market. So, in a way, it is quite safe na mag-invest uh, sa, through PSE. Ano, kasi, it, in a way, they are regulating all the companies that are publicly listed in them. Okay? And yung mga nag-IPO, uh, although there are certain, um, uh, magar- meron kasing iba't ibang reason ng companies then on why they offer, why they do. IPO, Initial Public Offering. And depending on their reasoning, merong mga investors na, syempre, if you're new investor, hindi mo alam, eh di baka maingan nyo ka na mag-invest in their IPO to buy uh, their stocks. <coughs> Pero syempre, kung, you know, in a way, medyo experience ka na na investor, uh, there are some things that you have to look for that, ano, kasi merong iba, uh, they are raising money through IPO just uh, to pay off their debt and their mga existing debt nila. So, you know, it's not very, you know, attractive reason uh, na mag-invest ka tapos itong mabahid lang nila sa uh, creditors nila. So, you know, not very attractive. Tapos, um, another thing na tinitingnan din ng mga experienced investors is that yun bang... IPO price, ano, yung initial offering price ng security. Is it fair siya buy or baka naman siya overpriced na tinatawag? Normally, kapag overpriced, yun, hindi rin siya nakakaingganyo na bilhin. Pero normally, kapag, you know, underpriced or fairly priced, ayan, okay lang uh, sa mga investors, yung ganyan. Pero kapag overpriced, medyo why? Ano, may question na ganyan. And of course, on the part of the company, they have to justify ano, bakit ganun ka taas yung price. And then, in a way, um, depending on how the general public reacts din naman, <coughs> or yung mga investors, syempre kung walang bumibili, there's a tendency na yung seller or yung uh, initial offer price, bababayan. Ano. Kasi kung hindi naman siya hinakagat ng mga investors, eh, of course, supply and demand if there's no demand for it, bababa yung price. And it's when uh, the investors feel na fairly priced na yung isang security <coughs> or yung isang instrument. Saka lang, 
syempre nila bibilhin yun. Okay, so, another thing, that's another thing that they are uh, considering before buying an IPO <coughs> or even an existing uh, stock for that matter. Ayan. Uh, <coughs> All issues on the primary market are subject to strict regulation kasi nga you have your SEC uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, we have that here in the Philippines. Tapos, meron ba yung Philippine Stock Exchange? Ano, meron mga requirements. Tapos, uh, in a way, they do audit or monitoring then. Na kapag meron kang non-compliance, you will be either penalized or you will be called to account for the uh, findings ano, before you are given uh, some sort of securities of uh, tawag doon. Parang, ano, uh, good standing, certificate of good standing as a company or as a corporation. And, and then, I think that's one of the requirements that uh, PSE requires before ka makapag uh, offer ng EO stocks to the general public. Okay. <coughs> Small investors are open, often unable to buy securities on the primary market because all, because the company and its investment bankers want to sell all of the available securities in a short period of time to meet the required volume. Normally, yung primary market, um, it's ang players doon. Siyempre, you have your corporation or the government. Tapos, the other party is normally the financial institutions. Ano, kasi sila yung may pera, sila yung may hawak ng uh, funds. Tapos, kumaga sila yung first instance na bibili ng securities and then they offer, they offer it to their uh, clientele na lang din. Okay? Or, Meron din namang mga individual investors na, you know, madatong, malaki ang pera, ang hawak nila. So, they are also able to um, buy uh, the securities in the primary market. Ano? And in a way, they are well-connected sa financial institutions. Kasi mga financial institutions naman din, alam nila kung sino yung uh, mga clients nila na may kakainan na bumili directly from uh, the issuers. Okay. <coughs> Ayan. Tapos yung individual investor na yon sa yung mga financial is uh, financial institution sila ni bahala na you know secondary market na bebenta nila to uh, smaller investors. Marketing the sale to investors can often include a roadshow or dog and pony show in which investment bankers and the company's leadership travel to meet with potential investors and convince them of the value of the security being issued. Okay. But again, normally, through the financial institutions. Secondary market, so, you know, um, investor to another investor, pero siya ay um, regulated pa din ng SEC. And you have your PSC then, stock exchange. And, uh-huh. Issuing companies do not have a part in the secondary market kasi siya between investors na nga lang. Ayan. Examples of secondary markets, you have your stock exchange. Sa US, they have NASDAQ for smaller companies, pero dito sa atin, we only have PSE. Uh, secondary markets, two different categories, auction and the dealer market. I don't think we have this here. I don't think we have this here. But we have PSE. Okay. Are capital markets the same as financial markets? Um, financial market, it's a broader term. I know. Uh -huh. Distinctions. Financial markets encompass the broad range of venues where people and organizations exchange assets, securities, and contracts with one another. Under ng financial market and capital market. Or a classification of a financial market, yung capital market. And are often secondary markets. Capital markets, on the other hand, are used primarily to raise funding, usually for a firm, to be used in operations or for growth. Okay? So, much more specific itong capital markets kasi funding or capital yung pinakang focus niya and the new transaction between you know, suppliers and the users. Alright, itong financial markets, so you have your... Um, Exchange assets, okay, securities, under the securities yung stocks and bonds natin ng capital markets. Tapos contrast with one another yung mga derivatives pa. Okay. <coughs> so yan, uh -huh. 
sa natin. Ilang beses na natin nabanggit ang primary and secondary. Which markets do firms use to raise capital? Companies that raise equity capital can seek private placements via angel or venture capital investors. These are types of financial institutions and are, you know, as sources of capital, but are able to raise the largest amount through an initial public offering. So, in a way, kasi medyo trusted itong IPO kasi, kumbaga, vetted na siya ng regulatory agencies. Ano, kumbaga, dumaan na sa process and they already passed the requirements to the regulation or to the regulatory agencies. Alright. When shares become listed publicly on the stock market for the first time, that capital can be raised through bank loans or via securities issued in the bond market. Um, on the part of uh, yung mga nagre-raise ng capital, syempre, they would prefer uh, stocks, ano, kasi nga, it's a form of ownership ng uh, company. So, in a way, they don't have the obligation to repay uh, the funds okay, in the long term. Pag kasi bond, ayun, yun, after mag-expire yung bond period, let's say 5 years or 10 years, they have to pay back the principal no mga investors. So, okay. pag stocks, they're not actually required. Alright? So, ayun. Tapos na pala. <laughs> Kaya lang, um, parang review lang. I think we already did uh, discuss capital markets previously. So, parang review lang. Ano? So, ayan. So, ayun lang for this video. Thanks and bye. Okay, so wait lang. Meron palang PS. Okay. So, um, nakita ko kasi yung, what do you call that, thumbnail for capital markets. Nakalagay doon, efficient capital market. So, banggitin ko lang, essentially, what makes a capital market efficient is uh, through the availability of information available to investors. Kasi, di ba, um, nabanggit ko kanina yung mga financial institutions, they have their own trading platforms na pwedeng gamitin ang kanilang clientele, they are bank depositors. So, dun sa kanilang trading platforms na yun, normally meron mga information available. Parang, ano, investagrams lang din. They have the charts, tapos they have um, company announcements or articles or analysis ng mga iba't ibang companies ng, na listed ano, in the stock exchange. So, yung um, how, how fast or uh, how how fast nga, uh, how fast those information becomes available for the public use, yun yung um, magde-decide on how efficient the capital market is, okay? So, ito, with regards to that, in to those information, kasi nga, um, fake news din, ano, um, there's a possibility kasi na, meron, of course, you have your analysis made by experts, but then you also have certain articles made by um, dubious individuals or yung mga taong hindi mo masyadong pag, uh, mapagkakatiwalaan. Okay? So, here's the thing about investment din kasi. You have your, of course, you have your stock market, you have your bond market. But, um, <coughs> diba, it, in a way, it's a kind of game kasi in the market, you have your sellers and then you have your buyers. And sometimes these sellers, uh, the sell it's normally the sellers who hype uh, certain stocks or certain instruments. Okay, hina hype nila yung instrument to make sure na magkaroon ng buyers interested in that particular security. Kasi nga kahit anjan na yung investment hawak mo na kung hindi mo naman siya maibenta to other people, then how are you going to profit from? Okay? Kasi as long as hawak mo pa rin yung investment, um, unrealized, ano, regardless na tumaas or bumaba yung market price, kapag hindi mo siya, hanggat hindi mo pa siya nabibenta, wala ka pang unrealized, uh, sorry, wala ka pang realized na gain or profit. Okay? And also, there's a possibility na uh, maging loss yan kapag syempre mas mababa dun sa cost mo, yung magiging selling price mo. But, again, <coughs> some people, uh, what they would do is they would release articles or, you know, professional sounding analysis of a particular company or a particular instrument. Although it could not, it could be real, it could not be real. Pero again, uh, sometimes in a way, may pagka, you know, speculation din uh, yung mga analysis ng companies. Kasi nga, it's uh, about the future, di ba? Ano yung magiging future performance nitong company na to? And of course, if you want it to be 
attractive to buyers. Hindi siyempre gagandahan mo yung sasabihin mo sa analysis mo and ay uh, babanggitin mo din ng mga speculation mo na because of the projects lined up by the companies, ito yung mga possible na mangyari for the company and possible na maging uh, profit performance nila in the coming year or something, okay? And in a way, yun yung nagiging paraan ng iba, especially the sellers, on how they are able to <coughs> sorry, to hype uh, the instrument. Siyempre kapag ganun, tataas, di ba? Uh, may encourage yung buyers na, uy, mukhang maganda yung uh, company stocks na yun or yung instruments na yan. Why don't we try buying that? And then, of course, kapag dumami yung buyers, tataas yung demand, di ba? Pag dumaas ang demand, tataas ang price. Kapag dumaas ang price, itong sellers na mga, itong mga sellers na to, bibenta nila yung kanilang um, instruments. And then, that's how they're going to profit from it. So, sometimes, um, it's really important na maging, you know, careful in analyzing information. Hindi yung tanggap ka lang ng tanggap, nakarinig ka lang ng chismis. Kasi minsan, yes, chismis lang. Then, yung mga mapapakinggan mo na, you know, um, reports about companies or uh, certain instruments. So, be careful then, ano, na you don't fall for such uh, schemes. In a way, schemes lang siya. And there are, um, what you call it, uh, certain tawag dito, events naman na in the past na ganun yung nangyari, right? Uh, example natin, of course, yung tawag dito, um, <coughs> 2008 financial crisis, di ba? Hinipe nila yung mark, uh, housing market and yun nga, karamihan ng tao nag-invest dun sa houses pero it's not a legit uh, demand for the financial asset kasi nga, karamihan naman sa kanila they bought the houses, not for consumption, hindi para terahan or hindi para gamitin yung houses but for them to sell it to others at a higher price then okay so in a way walang genuine demand yung supplier sila din yung ah sorry kumbaga yung mga suppliers <coughs> sorry yung buyer ng properties sila din sila din yung supplier kasi after they buy the houses ibebenta din nila so in a way yung hinahanap natin na equilibrium ng supplier supply and demand it did not work out as the ba yung principles natin ng supply, uh, law on supply and demand kasi nga, it's not general demand. And there are a number of, you know, investments na tinatawag in the market nowadays na hindi naman legit na investments din kasi nga, uh, hinahype lang yung investment tapos hindi for consumption yung mga buyers, ano, hindi for consumption but for investment then So, eventually, the demand side of the equation is not real. Okay? So, ayan lang. Additional post trip kasi nga nakita ko yung thumbnail is about efficient capital markets. And again, the efficiency talks about um, how fast the information becomes available for the investors in the capital market. Right? So, that's it. Kunay na. Thanks and bye.